Hi everyone, it's Doreen My Bedazzled Treasures and today I have something to share with you. This is a lovely package from my friend Bonnie. Hi Bonnie! She sent me the most beautiful crocheted items ever. Some of these she created herself and some she found at a yard sale and she wanted to share them with me. And um, she knows how much I love doilies and creating things out of appliques. So she sent me this awesome box of goodies. So I wanted to go ahead and share with you what some of the items are and maybe even figure out what we can use them for. So what I have here on top, there was three of these. And um, they I did tea dye this. It did come in just a light cream color and I wanted to play around with it so I tea dyed it. And it is actually um, what I think I'm going to use it for is a candle holder and I'm going to decorate the outside with some flowers and some bling and really um, decorate them up and I'll come back with another project when I finish the project and show you what I've made but I really think these are really cool because they're shaped like a cup so you could actually make these a cozy for a cup or something like that and um, it's just really really neat I've never seen anything like it so that's basically what it looks like there and then on the tea dyed side that's more tea dyed more on that side so there's that and she had three of those in there and then she had this really pretty red one look at that and this to me looks like a hat but I could totally see maybe um, stitching it around the outside and maybe making it into a flower or something I definitely would not cut this because it's already shaped so this could be either a hat for a doll or a hat for a teddy bear or something. But I just wanted you to see the details on it because it's just beautiful. And Bonnie, if you did um, stitch this, you did an amazing job if this was one of your creations. And this is a really pretty deep red too. I really like that a lot. So we've got that one. And then also she sent this beautiful, um, it's a placemat type or runner type. And I see lots of possibilities here because um, I, I don't think I want to cut it because it's got, you know, all the details in it. But right here you can kind of see where it's coming apart. And I think that she had said she got some of these at a yard sale. So once again, if you wanted to, you could cut um, right, you just snip right around here. And then it would make that shape right there. And it would be a perfect backdrop. For, you know a flower or a page or it even could be a cute little photo frame or you know alter a thread spool with it it's just a great backdrop so this is a really long piece and lots of possibilities for that um, or you could use it on a, a layout and just you know cut some of it out for the backdrop of a layout so I think that's really beautiful and she also sent this one which is another great one because it's got the shape of a square and I like the details in it it's very pretty this is more like a needlepoint crochet very pretty and then there's this beautiful um, yellow sunflower pattern and this is a uh, another doily but it's quite large it's about 10 inches round so very pretty Look at the details on that. I really like that one too. And here's a multicolored one in all different shades. There's a blue and a yellow and a burgundy and this pretty, um, it's like a seafoam green. And then there's an orange, there's a lime. So again, you could totally use these for flowers and backdrops, you know, by cutting out these little pieces here. So I think, Bonnie, you're going to regret giving these to me when I show you all the projects I'm going to create with them. And I'm definitely going to be sending you a project back with some of these items that you sent me in my creations. And here's another one. And these look great tea dyed. Some of these are already aged and tea dyed. And there's another style. Really pretty. This one is tattered, but it, you know, again, you can use these for your tattered pages. And I love using this frayed crochet as a backdrop. Looks really good. And then here is a nice long one here again. And I am not an expert at what type of crochet or what this is made of, so 
what you see is what you get. <laughs> so really pretty pattern though, I like that. And then we have another possibility of cutting some snowflakes it looks like. That was just a piece that was sitting in there. And she had two of these in there. I love this flower here. I'm going to tea dye this and see how it comes out. And uh, it's probably going to come out really vintage looking when I get done with it. And then she sent me this one. And it's all beautiful details. And another crochet piece. And this one looks like a pocket to me, so I thought that was really cool. See possibilities in all this stuff. Really pretty. I see, um, I love the points on these, so I would totally use these for um, either a leaf or a backdrop for something because it's got all that detail in it. It's a perfect um, shape with that point to it. We have this one. This is more of a lightweight. And I believe I'm going to tea dye most of these anyway. So, And I'm going to share some with Patty. My girl. Patty Scrappenings on YouTube. Hey girl. I know you've been waiting to see these doilies too. I've been getting my mojo back you guys. And so I'm getting back my videos up. Yeah, this one here. These are awesome. These are like a purple lavender color, and there's three of those. And I bet you Bonnie made these too. She didn't tell me which one she made. I have to figure it all out, I guess. But so super cool. And then here's another one, and I like this one. It's got a flirty kind of a look to it. It's got the little flare going on. And it's really, um, the yarn is more um, silky on this one really a pretty silky feel to it and then there's this one here with the sunflowers in it really pretty and there's that one another one of the daisy I don't know if I called that a daisy or a sunflower but it looks like a daisy and then there's this one and it's got a butterfly and I don't know if I can even show you guys sorry about that it almost looks like a curtain but there's a butterfly pattern going on in there. See if you could see that. So that's really cool. This would make a great wall piece, you know, for like a piece of art and then decorate the butterfly. That would be totally a cool idea to put behind your bed or on your wall for your scrap room. And here's one that I absolutely love, love, love. It's pink and white or cream. And I love the details in it. So pretty. So that's definitely going to be a keeper of mine. I love it. And here's another one. And this one here. It's a little hard to do this behind the camera, you guys. So I'm sorry if I'm going too fast. This looks like a collar. So this could totally make a beautiful flower by, you know, stitching it and making it into a rolled flower or something. It'd be really pretty. And then there was three of this one the square and then here's a lightweight um, lace that she sent it's really pretty love that this is in a rectangle shape there's that one and then there's also oops let me turn it the right way this here but it has like um, people on it I don't know if you can see it but there's some people there like almost like a uh, I don't know. I can't figure it out, but it looks really cool. Is it angels? It might be angels. Let's see. If you can see that. What do you think it is? Do you think it's angels in the backdrop? I'm not sure. I know it's kind of some kind of women here. It's really cool though. And then there's this one. This is um really heavy. Let me see if I can bring it up. It's got some tattered going on there, but totally workable. I could use this in a project for sure. It's really, really long. And let's see here. 
I did start cutting some because there was one that was falling apart, so I'm going to show you that in a minute. There's a round one, and then there's another collar, which is really cool. I love these collars. These would make great necklaces if you cut them in half. You can add beads to them and do all kind of stuff to them. So here's one that I started taking apart, and that's the um, bunches of those going to be in the box because I already started. That was this piece right here, and I think this might be, yeah, this was that one piece that I've been taking apart. Can you imagine how many pieces you're going to get out of that? So cool. Lots of flowers, more, more, more. We love those backdrops for flowers. And here's another one, which is, it has all this great detail in it. I love that one too. And let's see, here's another one. And this one is definitely aged already. It's got this cool aging going on right there. Um, I haven't done anything to that yet, but when I tea dye it, it's going to look really amazing. So there's what it looks like. Really cool pattern. I like that. Each one of these are all different, too. Bonnie, you did a great job on passing these to me because I am definitely going to use them and share them, of course. This is a really cool one, too. Another same one that's got the aging on it already. Right there. Oops, got it backwards, sorry. And a lot of jet edging here that you can use for stuff. And here's another one, really cool. So, oh, it's shaped like a heart. Look at that, that's so cool. And here's some more pieces. Here's another piece that um, was in here. And more, more of these great backdrops for flowers. I mean, they look great on their own too, of course. And this is a really cool one too. This is, um, it's a collar, but it's a mini collar. And it's got a little red satin, a red ribbon going on there. And another collar, but this one is split. So you can, actually, you know what this would be good for? This would be great around a Christmas tree, for a miniature Christmas tree, like a four foot. You could totally use that and decorate you know the base of it with a bunch of pretty stuff and use it for a Christmas tree for your miniature Christmas tree or your four foot which is the size of the four foot pink tree that I have and there's another piece and then there's just a lot of little tiny pieces here so let me see here's another one I like that one too. That one's really cool and webby looking. It's got a lot of tat, tattered look going on. This is really cool. And this one is really cool too. It's really heavy. And it's got all this detail. So that's the top right there. It's really cool. I like that one. Yes, Bonnie, these are awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Patty, I know you're picking out some of these in this group. Which ones do you want, girl? You have to tell me so I can send some to you. Look at that. Oh, love that one. That one's really light and airy looking. I love it. I love them all, actually. There isn't one that I don't like. Here's the one. Here's another one of those sleeve things that looks like a... This is what it originally came. The color. So the other one I showed you was tea dyed. And here's another one. And some more of these pocket looking tattered ones. And more of the flowers. So this is all the flowers and I still have a lot more to cut off. So there's lots and lots of flowers going here for great projects. So. Thank you, Bonnie, for everything. I really, really, really appreciate you thinking of me and, and Patty and sending us this lovely stuff and these lovely doilies and beautiful, beautiful stuff. So I'll be back, you guys, in a little bit to share a project with you. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and I'll see you in a little bit. Bye, everyone.